All right, guys, this is James with Jimmy's RC Speed Shop. We got the new production version of the Scorched Arma housings in. So I wanted to kind of do an unpacking, unboxing kind of video and show you what, what you get in the package and go over the two setups a little bit. One using the stock internals for the Arma and the optional uh, use of the Habao gearing um, in this thing as well. So we got a little bit more gearing options. Um, so I just kind of wanted to go over it, show you what goes where and kind of see if I can help answer some of the questions that I've had, um, about the housings. Um, first thing, what you get in the package, obviously you're going to get the diff housing with the screws, everything there. You're going to get the bearings for your input shaft, the shim to run the Arma input shaft because of the different size be some 1.2 millimeter shims, some 0.5 millimeter shims, and some 0.2 millimeter shims. Um, and we'll go over each one of these and show you kind of where they go. The good part is um, David did a nice instruction sheet with pictures, which is what we like to do. Most of us just look at the pictures and figure it out for ourselves, um, which makes it a little easier for most of us. But anyway, I want to kind of start, I'll start out with the Arma and where the shims go in it. It's really simple. Um, uh, it's just a little bit different combination of where they go for each internal setup. On the Arma, the input shaft where the bearings go, you're gonna have a 1.2 millimeter shim that's actually gonna go on the inside under the input shaft bearing. So it actually pushes the bearing toward the inside of the diff housing, which keeps the pinions kind of deep in the housing to mesh up with the with your ring gear better. Then on the outside, this is the bushing here that sets down in the bearing because Arma has a five millimeter end on the output shaft. So it's eight millimeters on the inside and five on the outside. The uh, other thing I'll show you real quick while we're doing this part is Scorched has a new two grub screw cup. And the good thing about it is on these factory, the GP5s and stuff, they have a flat that they use for their little three millimeter set screw. And then they have a full flat, which is probably hard to see on this camera. On the other side, these cups actually have both. They have that three millimeter on this side. So it'll set down into that notch that's where the factory one set. And then it's got a, a four millimeter on the other side. So it's locked on nice and tight and it actually uh, they run a lot truer than just the factory uh, cups do. Um, nice and smooth. The next part on this is Arma Diff. And on the outside of each one of these, you're going to run one of those 1.2 millimeter shims. Depending on what car you're running, it'll dictate where you, which side this is going to go on. Some of the earlier armors had the ring gear on the left side and some of them had them on the right. It really doesn't matter. It just depends on how you want it to run. Um, so you got 1.2s on each side. So now the mesh is perfect. I mean, I, David couldn't have done a better job of getting the mesh right on this thing. Then obviously the cap. And the one thing I wanted to talk about with this cap is, well, two things. One is I think everybody knows how hard it is when you put a cap on a factory Arma diff, trying to keep that shim underneath the edge of that cap so you're with a little pick tool trying to do it. And sometimes it's in the car, which makes it even more difficult. Well, the way he's cut his cap, it doesn't go over that shim on the, on the top, so it did just slide right on. The other thing is David's uh, bearing retainer design. So it has this cutout area, and what that allows for it to do is actually retain the bearing tightly but not to a bind point 
so it really keeps the bearing in place and i think it uh, also helps with small variations in the bearing sizes which is going to happen um, these little slots in here they have like a hard rubber in them so it seals it up and then he's got these things really nice i mean you can you tighten them all the way down and this thing is just super smooth so really on the arma the biggest thing the 1.2 millimeter shim under the inside bearing and then on the outside there's a 1.2 on each side and there's your arma i mean it's pretty simple now the other option which is what i really like about this diff is being able to have some options the other option is running the Habao gearing the 1540 which is like a 266 ratio where the stock arma is uh, a 2.8 um, to run this you do have to run a locker this is the new six millimeter uh, through shaft locker this thing's like bulletproof um, I think it's gonna be a, a, a I mean it's rock solid this thing is crazy solid but uh so you can run these 2.66 gears um, just add some gearing options. You know, gearing is gearing, and we change it around. The end gear ratio is what really matters. But, um, you know, having a few more options is always nice. And, you know, David thought about that, and I think it's a really good idea. On these, with the shimming, these are a little bit different. You know, you're going to have your input bearing. No shim under this one. You get this input shaft in. And then on the outside, there's going to be a 0.5 and a 1.2 that are going to be under the bearing, the outside bearing. Obviously, this one does not need the little bushing because it Hobao has an 8 millimeter through shaft all the way through. Everything fits snug as it should. Eight millimeter scorched div cup. Nice and simple. So now you got this. The difference is just the pinion depth that you're changing with those shims in order to meet the, the ring gear. Now on the Habao, you're running a 0.5, which is really small, on each side of the bearing. Because it's wider, it doesn't need as quite as much shimming. So you're gonna run that 0.5 shim on each side. And that's the thin ones like uh, Arma uses that are so bad about jamming up in the in their top cap. Um, nice and smooth. Again, just the cap does not, you don't have to fight that shim underneath of there. And here we go. Nice and smooth. So now you can run the Habao 266 gearing in the Arma diff obviously with a locker this is the six millimeter through shaft lockers brand new just came out with those as well and another thing that that david thought about is a lot of guys that want to run this gearing on the arma um are running his trident shafts so he's also made an eight millimeter uh trident cup to go on the front diff for the trident shafts these things are like just super smooth guys. I mean, I'm, I'm impressed. I think you guys will be impressed as well. And I kind of wanted to just go over. It's, it's quick, it's, it's a simple setup. It's just a matter of a few shims, but we have some options that we didn't have before. The diffs are made really nice. The best thing about it is the bearings. The bearing size is just completely insane. I've shown that in a couple other videos. That piece there is about as big as the bearing is that comes in the Arma. And now we're running these huge bearings, which I didn't put one out, but we're running a huge bearing in there. So we're gonna have, a, I don't think we're gonna have any problems with, with blowing the bearings out, especially in the front discs. And that coupled with the Trident shaft is gonna eliminate that problem completely. Um, I personally have had the, the Trident shaft, I've tested them up to 201 miles an hour. Um, and they they're holding up great they're doing a fine job and they're uh 
they're doing what they're designed to do you know great idea um i did want to add at the end of this an update on my scorch build so i'm going to clean this off and get my scorch build out and kind of go over where i'm at with it in my scorched out arma car and we'll uh we'll talk about it in a second all right guys we got the scorched out build out here now um just kind of going to give an update of where we're at on this thing you know, I said I was going to start out with one motor and then work it up to two, but you know, um, I've been running a lot of stuff with one motor, so we're just going to do it with two and be done with it. We're going to get it out there and and uh, and see what it'll do. Just kind of get this camera, just kind of go over a little bit. Running two 4080s, um, obviously two XLXs. We got those diff housings in there, front and rear also have the scorched knuckles prototypes we're working on those got the rear scorched hubs all of them run those big bearings also have if we can get around here to see that maybe you can see that in there got that trident shaft in the front um this does have the habao gearing in it i didn't have these setting out here a while ago but i wanted to show you again factory arma this is what most aftermarket aluminum housings are running. And this is the scorch bearing. Kind of wanted to give you a little eyeball what that looks like again. Um, we got, I'm calling this a scorched out build because everything on it is uh, either current production or prototype scorch parts that we're going to, um, that I'm helping David with. Mostly just doing the testing, which is the fun part for me. Um, and, uh, we're going to get this thing out soon, waiting on the weather to clear up. Got all the scorch stuff on here. Got a few more things to do. Um, and it'll be ready to run. Um, nothing, uh, nothing major left to do. So we just got to get some weather going. Full scorch chassis. I'll have to put some Velcro here for my batteries, the way I like to run my batteries. And other than that, I'm uh, probably going to run... The body you just seen and this is the new abs delta plastics body we're gonna run this yeah it's black but i'll probably do some color on it and paint it i'm gonna do a little video painting one of these things um also because they're gonna have to be painted on the outside um i think it's gonna be a pretty cool looking build and I think it's going to be a really fast build. So we're going to get this thing done and get this thing out as soon as we can. And uh, got a few more of them to, to get done. Got a couple of top secret builds I'm working on. And of course, got to get the WR body car back out. Got, um, I don't know, I probably got 10 or 12 cars to, uh, to run this year right now. And we'll just kind of see how they go as far as which one goes when and when we run and um, working on a, a longer road that's been my really my my hold up at this point because my road's a little short but um, I've made the best of it up to now and now it's time to find a better road and that is in the works so we're uh, got our fingers crossed that that's all gonna work out the way I want it to and we'll go from there but I just want to give you a, a little quick unboxing on those diffs and give you an update on the scorch scorched out uh, Arma and we'll be out soon running some more cars and uh hopefully we'll be uh making some good speeds and uh having some fun all right guys i really appreciate you watching the video and uh y'all subscribe and we'll get back out and and do some more all right guys have fun